from every part of Britain, people have come to, led by Canon Collins, Jaquetta Hawkes, Ben Levy, and Sir Richard Ackland, the march begins. Past the Atomic Weapons Research Establishment, the home of the Hydrogen Bomb. A few hundred had been expected at the start, but already the column is 4,500 strong. They have come in their thousands to show their opposition to policies based upon the threat of mass annihilation. It is 53 miles to London. Many marchers carry the symbol of the campaign for nuclear disarmament, the semaphore signal ND. They are pledged to the common cause of mankind. Each, by marching, denies the growing fear that the people of the world are mere puppets, incapable of influencing events by their personal actions. They know that a nuclear war will mean suicide for Britain, that nuclear weapons are no defense, that there can be no victors, only vanquished. They march for Britain to give a lead to the nations of the world. They ask for an act of greatness. The marchers take a rest. They are confident, determined, and happy. At the control van, a queue forms to reserve sleeping accommodation for the night which lies ahead. Due to the large number of marchers, all available accommodation is filled to the limit. As the marchers prepare to move, the rain begins to fall. The rain descends steadily, but still the march is thousands strong. At Hounslow, tea is gratefully welcomed. Local labor parties support the march. The mayor of Hounslow addresses the marchers in the park. At Turnham Green, the sun shines warmly. It is the last day of the march. There's an air of excitement and anticipation. Many wives and families join in. The crowds on the pavements are interested and friendly.
6,000 people are now marching. lanes are far behind. Now the wide expanse of Kensington High Street. Crowds welcome the marchers as 10,000 strong, they approach the Albert Memorial. The Albert Memorial looks down and remembers a time when wars could be won. Past the memorial to a million dead, past the seat of governmental power to Trafalgar Square. As the march streams down Whitehall into the square, we learn that the tail is still leaving the Albert Memorial. 15,000 people are now marching. Believe me, to be the greatest demonstration of the century. The campaign for nuclear disarmament seeks to persuade people that nuclear arms and should be abolished. That atomic weapons are not a defense of our nation, but a menace to all mankind. It is this conviction which has brought 20,000 people into Trafalgar Square. 20,000 people at Easter 1959. It is in support of the policy of unilateral disarmament that so many of them have marched the whole 53 miles from Aldermaston to London. her independence, to dismantle the foreign air and rocket bases stationed on her soil, to destroy all stocks of nuclear weapons, to give a lead to the nuclear power, a lead to the world. 